Hello, Carol Martin. Welcoming you to my studio. Today, I'm back to my princess book. I am repurposing this lovely book into an art journal. And I've already begun a little work on this spread. The page lent itself to three distinct areas. The princess, this lovely pattern section, and then the words. This is Princess Oblivia. This little box absolutely tickles me. Don't forget to remind yourself to think about remembering. We ladies of a certain age understand this perfectly. I have already applied this stencil down this side and I chose folk art black cherry in an attempt to play up her lovely red jacket. Then this section of the spread was very just plain white paper with text. So I decided to play up these primary colors on this page and I dug deeply and I found this light and airy flower stencil and rather than have you watch me put paint on through a stencil I thought I would get one step ahead. In order to work this I used my very favorite Ceramcoat Magnolia White my Ceramcoat Tropic Bay Heat Blue and my Ceramcoat Apple Green. I worked the colors in together to soften them, to let them blend, and by error I got a little bit of this red paint on my sponge. And then I thought, well, out of a happy accident, maybe something positive happened, so I added a little bit more of it here and there just to carry this color over, which of course is a big excuse for a boo-boo. I hear the garage door opening now, folks, so I'm going to stop for a few moments. Well, I'm back and I've had a chance to have a nice think about this. And I've decided that this section does not balance too well with this side. So, I dug into my handmade rubber stamps and I thought that I might use them along this margin. So, I picked stays on teal blue because the world works right when there's a little teal blue involved. And if I feel that it's still not balanced, I can always darken up. But I'm going to start with some teal blue. But I'm also going to keep my fingers and fingertips from becoming marked permanently with stays on, or at least until I've had a couple of good washes. Alrighty. Since the last application was the stays on black, going to give this a quick check to see what's happening with stays on teal. Ah, very nice. So, I'm 
when in doubt, plunge, and I'm in doubt, so here comes the plunge. And I'm able to handle this and get it lined up nicely because of these rubber gloves. Let's see what happens I like to let the stays on stay on the paper for a while to give it a chance to do its work well here we go ooh yes maybe one more we'll do it This color is a bit darker than I expected it to be, so it looks like we have a good thing happening here. Now, Very nice. I think, let's, yes, I think it gives it a bit more balance. Now, while looking very carefully at her adorable little face, I realized that there are green leaves that are obviously just falling down, floating through the air, and I remembered that one of my first learning projects, I think, this was the first or second stamp that I made, and I'm thinking that we might, I might play up that concept of stamp in leaf pattern to bring out these little, these little tiny fellows. Now, I was thinking I could add that to her hat. Let's see if we have one. Coming there. In fact, let's make it a little bit rakish. One coming there. And then we could have maybe one here. And rule of three says one here. Hmm. Well, the first one will not be a problem. And I'm going to go back to black stays on for this. So, now, where shall we go with this first one? Because this is going to set the tone for her hat. I'm thinking right there. one over here. I also don't want this on top of that. I just want that outside part to show. So I'm going to use my favorite blue tape and give this a quick dry.
this is certainly not going to work a treat with these gloves on. I feel like the little kid who can't get out of her own sweater. Now, let's get this tape pulled around along the edge. There we go. And here we go. This right. Nope. Let's get this right here. No, I don't want to dilly dally, but we need to see about our placement. This one is coming down here, so this one I think needs to come out. This way, yes. I'm going to do this one leaf playing my glove game, and then I'm going to turn off the recording so that you certainly don't need to see me in such a foolish position for any length of time. All righty. Now, this should come here, I believe. And now that I've made my choice, I really don't have one anymore. Alrighty, let's see. I'll be back when I have my third leaf placed up here. Well, the big reveal. I think so. I do believe so. I didn't feel too badly about doing the the dark, the black stays on because her hair is obviously black. Now, since I'm in this area, what can I do to make this? Let me think while I'm drying. about, I'm thinking, some of our black cherry and my old Josanya rich gold, and how about some flowers up there, right there. Let's see what we can do. After all, the girl is a princess. So let's have a little bling somewhere.
These need to be a decent sized flower. So I'm thinking that size. Or bigger. Do we want bigger? Maybe my old standby. That's at least 20 years of a folk art half inch angular. Yes. A little bit of water. Get things out of the way because I'm sure that I'm going to be turning this book around. In fact, I'm going to take the drop papers out. Give this a turn. Okay, I'm going to be working right in that area. I think maybe a little magnolia in case I need it. a few years since I've double loaded a brush, but here we go. Alrighty, let me come in a little bit closer. So that you can see the double loaded brush. The gold is going to be towards the center of the petal. And here we go. Alrighty. Probably by the last by the last flower I'll start to get it to work again. Oh my goodness. I'm just trying to, sitting here trying to think about how long it's been since I've done this. Oh, I would say way over 20 years. Guess it's like bicycle riding. I'm using a goodly amount of paint because of the clear gesso underneath. It will certainly take it off this brush just the way I want it to. Now we have to have one more petal in there. And I think I'm going to let this just there. There's one. Let's see where we are. Sometimes I wish this was a little bit smaller book, but mm -mm. okay, there's one. Maybe parts of two more. Let's see. Parts of two more. Alrighty. Dry this because I just want a part of a flower, so.
try to make this come over this way a little bit. Hmm. I think I'll put this one on first. upside down. And this one this way. And this one that way. I'll leave well enough alone here. Okay. Let's show that this is really going down that way, so we'll put the center over here. And maybe one more here. But by then I'll probably start having such fun that I'll do other things here. Okay, but then fun is the name of this, isn't it? I'm really showing off now, doing them backwards. But this is starting to be fun again. I remember now how much fun it was. All right. Okay. We need something, something. Yes, too flat. Too flat. Maybe another one here, a part of one here, just part. And part of one coming down this way. And why don't we put a little bit of white magnolia our magnolia white in here. Do it. Hmm.
Keep your fingers crossed. And when all else fails, maybe we'll stack them a little bit. There we go. Okay. How about over here? This is what happens when it gets to be fun. Don't want to stop. But why should we? It's our princess. This one needs to have a little more contrast. There we go. And down here on the bottom. And then you can yell stop and I'll probably hear you. <coughs> Excuse me. I'll have a little iced tea. was out walking and there was quite a bit of wind in my head and wind. It's not a happy combination. One last little bit and I promise, promise, promise I'll stop. You have to come over here. when you don't plan. That's what happens. When you don't plan. Let's see what we can do to fix this little ugly one over here. See where we are. Now I'm going to stop before I do that one thing that doesn't help the situation. So I'm going to stop at this point and give this some more thought. Let me let you see what I'm seeing and thinking about. Okay. See all of these little leaves? Hmm. Well, her hat is certainly a fashion statement at this point. I'll be back. I'm back to the secret life of Princess Oblivia. It's here. And I've been doing some experimenting, which I will be sharing with you. But I'm really unhappy about the tendrils coming out of her hat. I really would like these dark lines to be darker. Just to come at, at us a little bit. And I have my ceram coat black and this tip which I've done a little practice on an extra piece of paper and it seems to work all right. So this is going to be a grand experiment. 
I'm going to keep my fingers crossed. I hope that you will also for me. I'm going to stand up because I think I can get better control that way. I have a baby wipe and some paper present in case we have a catastrophe, which could happen. All righty. Shall I start this way or this way? Hmm. Let me see. I'm not happy with that at all. So I'm going to turn off the recorder because I don't want to hear you, you'd have to hear me cry. And I'll work on cleaning this up and we'll try plan B.